welcome to all of you now we discuss nicholson bailey model in biomathematics semester 5 paper dsc a1.2 Considered the Nicholson Bailey model in t plus 1 equal to r in t e to the power minus a p t and p t plus 1 equal to c n t bracket 1 minus e to the power minus a p t where the symbols have their usual meanings find the equilibria of the system and discuss their stability. Also, see this question. So that the coexistence of equilibrium point h star t star of the Nicholson Bailey model h t plus 1 equal to b h t e to the power minus a p t and p t plus 1 equal to c h t bracket 1 minus e to the power minus a p t is always unstable. And both questions are the same type. So we discuss this. Now Nicholson Bailey model represents the interaction between a host and a parasitoid that is two species interaction system one of the species of insects called the parasitoid exploits the second species of insect called the host in the following way a parasitoid lays eggs on their host and larva parasitoids live on their host while completing their life cycle parasites and parasitoids both feed on a living host but a parasite does not kill their host whereas a parasitoid always kills its host thus parasitoids are obligate predators as they kill their host that is which are prey so uh, this is the example parasitoid insect and these parasites parasitoids and predator and parasitoids are not exclusively insects but the greater part of the parasitoids belong to the subphylum hexapoda for this reason i will focus my explanation on parasitoid insects this is the in a parasitic relationship parasites benefit at the expense of other organisms, the host, which are damaged in result but deposit of hurting it. Parasites try to keep their hosts alive as long as possible in order to keep on benefiting from them. So, parasites rarely kill their hosts. In a predator prey relationship, predators feed on a lot of organisms, they prey, the prey throughout their life cycle in order to keep on developing unlike parasite organism predators don't try to keep their prey alive so long because the purpose of preying on other organism is to obtain energy as fast as possible and finally between the parasitism and predation we find parasitoids organism insects with the parasitic uh, larval stage that develop by feeding on a single host which is usually another insect or arthropod in contrast with parasites parasitoids larva kill their host to complete their life cycle so in which sense they are different from predators the answer is that parasitic larva only need to feed on a single host to reach adulthood while parasitoid larva are a parasitic life form parasitoid adults tends to be herbivorous or predators so uh, we get the clear picture uh, about the parasitoid parasites and the host please now we discuss the mathematical model two dimensional mathematical discrete time model mathematical model this n t plus 1 equal to r n t to the power minus a p t and p t plus 1 equal to c n t bracket 1 minus to the power a p t 
increase the density of the host population in the tth generation and pt is the density of the parasitoid population in the tth generation the parameter r this r represents the reproductive rate of the host that is it measures the number of offspring of unparasitoid host that survives to the next generation if the encounters between host and parasitoids are random and if it measures the parasitoid searching efficiency then e to the power minus apt is the probability that a host escapes parasitism consequently 1 minus e to the power minus apt will be the probability that a host will be encountered or infected by the parasites here c is the average number of parasitoids that hatch from one from an infected host all parameters are positive here r a c are all positive and equilibrium points of the system one are given by nt plus one equal to nt equal to this n say n star pt plus one equal to pt equal to p star say so uh, we if we put in in place of nt plus one and nt in the system one and p in place of pt plus one and uh, pt and nt equal to n we get the equilibrium point this uh, function this function is called fnp and this function is called gnp say it gives a trivial solution e0 this is 0 0 so n equal to 0 p equals to 0 and the non-trivial equilibrium e star that is n star p star where n star p star are, are determined uh, from this relation uh, this so we get uh, by this system 3 and the, from the first equation uh, we get this p star equal to 1 by a ln r and substituting this in the second equation we get n star equal to this thus the interior equilibrium point is given by e star that is n star p star where n star is this and p star is this this equilibrium is feasible if r is positive because r minus 1 is positive and then otherwise both n star and p star will be negative at an arbitrary equilibrium point np the jacobian matrix is given by jnp del f del n del f del p del g del n del g del p so we get this 2 by 2 matrix this at the equilibrium table equilibrium uh, this e, e 0 that is 0 0 the jacobian matrix is j at the point 0 0 is this r 0 c 0 the eigenvalues are lambda 1 equal to r and lambda 2 equal to 0 thus mod of lambda 1 and mod of lambda 2 will be less than 1 if r is less than 1 and the trivial equilibrium will be stable implying that both species will go to extinction and note that whenever e0 is stable then the interior equilibrium in star p star does not exist at e star non trivial equilibrium point e star the jacobian matrix is given by this j n star p star equal to this so if we use this e to the power a p star equal to 1 by r and then we get this here trace of j uh, this is the diagonal uh, add these two diagonal elements this and determinant of j is this a c in n star that is r by r minus 1 ln r uh, equation by uh, 4 uh, equation by 4 is this relation so we get uh, traced this so uh, we show that determinant g is always greater than 1 and hence e star is always unstable now determinant j is greater than 1 implies that and uh, this uh, this r minus 1 minus r ln r is less than 0 and let h r is a function of r h is a function of r that is r minus 1 minus r ln r and so h1 equal to 0 and h dash r equal to minus ln r this is negative therefore hr is a decreasing function of r for all r greater than or equal to 1 since h1 equal to 0 for r equal to 1 so hr will be negative for r, all r greater than 1 thus r minus 1 minus r in r is negative for all r greater than 1 implying that it remains j greater than 1 so the coexistence equilibrium point ester can never be stable always unstable here mcq the equilibrium point uh, 0 0 of nicholson bailey model this is locally asymptotically stable if r is r is less than 1 r is less than 1 
locally asymptotically stable is this 0 0 here this uh, r is less than 1 the trivial equilibrium point will be stable this is the mode of lambda uh, 1 equal to r this is less than 1 in stable next question this question uh, is same type question so uh, same as before uh, power nicholson uh, bailey model thank you for watching this